Hello and welcome to Danset, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality, psychology, uh, relationship crisis in the age of artificial intelligence and especially the human and robots and the technical parts of the human and robots try to understand because human and robots or lab robots, whatever you want to call it, they are replacing human partners uh, in a large way. However, in any kind of relationship, we know that communication plays a great role, isn't it? And communication means not only the verbal exchanges, words uh, that we say, there are something beyond the words. That means effective communication relies less on what we say and more on how we say it. Therefore, an empathetic artificial intelligence must grasp the unspoken language of our voice. And believe it or not, 93% of our communication is non-verbal. That means our gestures, our body language, uh, how we um, stress, that means prosody, what we call it, uh, prosody, verbal prosody, that means a lot, that carries a lot of weight. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Now, uh, how a robot partner could learn to hear your heart when you don't say anything, even you remain silent. And not only that, it will hear not only your heart, but hear your words also, and unspoken words also. So let us first decode our vocal prosody. A robot's auditory sensors, you know, a robot comes with thousands of sometimes uh, millions of sensors from its head to toe, depending on the cost of the robot, depending on the advancement in the robot, robotics technology. Now, these auditory sensors especially could analyze the music of your speech, the pattern of pitch, the loudness, rhythm, tempo, that is uh, collectively we call prosody, isn't it? Each emotion creates a unique acoustic signature, a data stream rich with meaning. Now, when we are excited, our pitch is uh, almost uh, like, uh, you know, reaches to uh, almost eight, 8 out of 10 or something like that. Okay. And resonance also reach something like uh, 9 or 8, I think, uh, 8 out of 10. Amplitude is also 8 out of 10. Rhythm is a little bit low, 7 out of 10. Tempo is a little bit high, uh, 9 out of 10. Uh, there is a test, very, very popular test, I am fine test. Okay, By building a personalized vocal baseline, a robot can detect subtle deviations that betray your true feeling, feeling. learning the difference between your two types of I am fine. Because sometimes we say, I am fine when you are happy. Sometimes you say, I am fine when you are sad. Sometimes you say, I am fine. You are not either not very happy, nor you are uh, very sad. Something in between. Okay. So there are, uh, we can also, uh, we can also uh, project it through any kind, any type of infographic with the help of infographic chart, where you can say uh, with the help of a bar chart, we can compare these acoustic features, reveals the uh, these anomalies. Okay, uh, the silent scream we call it sometimes has a flatter pitch and lower harmonic resonance than the genuine baseline. That means when you are really fine, okay, when you are really happy, you are really fine. The genuine baseline is much much higher. And genuine fine is much, much higher where the silent scream fine, that means you are not 
uh, fine in that sense. Uh, you are maybe you are uh, some uh, some sadness in inside you. Uh, you are disturbed mentally. And you know, in our relationship, there are a lot of crises. Uh, human relationship is always messy, and that is why, in this place, in this gap, human and robots are doing extremely well, because they are uh, they don't uh, argue with you. Uh, they don't uh, uh, they don't uh, bring uh, more frictions into our relationship. In fact, it helps our fr relationship frictionless. And there are a lot of things that uh, happens with these human robots. And if we if we think about in in a very scientific way the empathic em, empathy engine, if we uh, try to analyze the empathy engine of uh, human robot, we get a feedback loop. Understanding is only the first step because a human robot, with its auditory senses, tries to understand your words. And with the programs uh, written inside it, it tries to uh, understand how you, uh, it, it detects uh, the, all the anomalies and detects emotional state and, and thereby it acts thoughtfully. And it also observes the user's reaction, uh, refine its internal model, learn from it, we call it reinforcement learning creating a spiral of ever depending care. So therefore, there are steps. Detect, first detect, step one, step two is uh, act, step three is observe, step four is refine itself and learns from its experience. Okay. And there are a lot of other things also. So overall, a new era of companionship is uh, evolving. And of course, there are questions. If a machine can understand our deepest emotions and respond with perfect empathy, does the nature of its consciousness even matter? What will it mean to be human when our most human experiences are shared and nurtured by a partner of where and could? So think about it. So that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for membership zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.